to choose a good speaker. Hello everyone, welcome to the CTC Audio Channel. I'm your host, and today I'm going to share with you a little bit about how to choose a good speaker knowledge. There are several key factors to consider. If you are interested in speakers, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell next to it, so you don't miss our exciting next issue. It is easy for novices to have a misunderstanding. When I first came into contact with speakers, I thought the more extensive the better. What is the best? Install two in a room of 20 square meters. Are bookshelf speakers the best? Obviously not a speaker of any price and class. There are certain reference ranges or preferential choices. Performance in an environment is the best criterion for charging. The most important thing about a good speaker is the sound quality. So when we select, we all know that the sound is roughly divided into three frequency bands, high, middle, and low. Compare these three frequency bands respectively. Of course, first you turn up the volume to the maximum to see if the sound breaks. If there is no broken sound, then continue to read the first hour. Generally depends on the rated power, that is, RMS refers to the efficiency circuit within your rate distortion range. The maximum power that can be output continuously, also known as active power. Only at this power, only public amplifiers can output music signals continuously without distortion or with low distortion. If you have used poor quality speakers, should have a deeper experience, that is, the speaker continues to work when the volume is too loud, distortion, current sound, or even direct damage. So pay attention to this when buying speakers. In how much space can the power and speaker coverage be used? This is very important second sensitivity. Sensitivity refers to how well a speaker responds to an incoming signal. The higher the sensitivity the speaker to the input, the more responsive the signal. But it is also susceptible to interference from the sounding environment. On the contrary, the lower the sensitivity, the weaker the response of the speaker. Less susceptible to interference from the sounding environment. First speaker size. Speaker size for sound quality has a significant effect on the size of the room. Smaller speakers are usually better for small rooms, while larger speakers are better suited for large rooms. This is because the size of the speaker wheel affects its sound output and frequency response force impedance. Impedance refers to how well a speaker responds to electrical current. Typically, low impedance speakers are easier to drive, but also more expensive. High impedance speakers are more suitable. Environments requiring large amounts of power to drive. If you need to use high power to drive speakers, then high impedance speakers may be a better choice. The fifth woofer determines the characteristics of the speaker's sound. Let's start with the bass. The low frequency produced by inferior speakers has no sense of depth at all. The sound it makes can only be described as boom boom. A good bass must be strong and powerful. The bass of various instruments can be clearly distinguished. Some can produce lower frequency sounds even though the amount of low frequency is not much. Although some have a lot of volume, they can make very low frequency sounds. So don't be fooled by the volume of the low frequency. Some low frequencies will disappear. It can also have a dull aftertaste, and some low frequency trinket is very fast. A little procrastinating. I feel like I can keep up. Inferior low frequency is not as natural and comfortable as clean sound. The intermediate frequency is the human voice we speak, and it is also the voice we hear most often. Same song with clear vocals. It is not difficult to compare the sound effects. After all. It is the frequency band we hear every day. The vocals from the inferior mid range are relatively fuzzy. In fact, the normal performance of the human voice is not to highlight the middle frequency. It is to reduce the energy ratio of low frequency and high frequency. High frequency is most typically the sound from the test instrument, such as the buzzing and other chop instruments. Poor high frequencies sound harsh. Go treble without being intimidating. It makes people's pores stand up. The more they listen, the more tired they become. It is bright, has high resolution, and feels natural and smooth. Can be easily heard at the highest point without changing the sound. For high frequencies, 
French musicians also produce a set. High-frequency music therapy. It is a systematic and scientific music conditioning therapy product. So a good treble should be more comfortable to listen to. If you want to know more about our product catalog and learn more about speakers, please add the WhatsApp number in the video below to contact us. If you want to keep learning more about speakers, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell next to it. So you don't miss our exciting next issue. If you have any questions during the learning process, please leave a message in the comment area. I will answer your questions as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, supporting everyone. See you next time.